Yes, welcome to DC Economics. So today I'm going to take you through the maximum and minimum derivative condition. So maximum and minimum derivative condition. So we need to understand what are the conditions for maximum and minimum. The first thing we need to understand, the, the first condition is that a function is said to be maximum at x which is equal to a. And if the derivative change, the first order derivative of dy over dx is zero. And the second order derivative of d raised power of 2 y over dx square is less than 0 or negative. So second condition is that a function is said to be minimum at x is equal to b. And if the first order derivative of dy over dx is equal to 0, and the second order derivative of d raised power of 2y over dx square is greater than 0 or positive. Now, you may sketch this graph here and isolate fully in an easy manner for no way the maximum and minimum condition appears. So when you sketch a graph like this, as you can observe, we have the y-axis and we have what is known as x-axis. As you observe, this is y-axis. So we have a line over here. So you can observe the maximum and minimum value. So we have graphs like this. So a graph will appear like this. Try to draw it on a visible way. This can be easy. So you know something like this. So have to have both it to be in a simple manner we understand this is A and this is B. So we have something like this. So after This is x. And here you have something like this. So this this is point A. So from this graph here, as you can observe now. Now, from this kind of illustrative graph, the point A, this point A is a maximum point. This is a maximum point. We actually got it to the maximum point. The actual, our B here, it is a minimum point. And the actual, this point here, this is the point of inflection. So a maximum point Y. So this is called a maximum point, point A, because Y has a maximum value. Y has a maximum value at this point of X when is equal to zero. At this point when X is equal to zero. Therefore, we say that at a point A, at this point over here, point A is a maximum. As you can see, the point A is a maximum. So the value of Y at A is higher than any value of other side of A. So as value x increases, as value of x increases from point A to point B, I mean from this point here to this point B, the slope of the curve decreasing 
or the slope of the curve changes from 0 to negative. Therefore, from this point here, now we consider the point A is we actually call it a maximum. So point A is a maximum when derivative change of dy over dx is equal to 0. And the second order derivative of this function, the second order derivative of the function is less than 0 or negative. Or negative. But also it is what is called minimum. Point B is minimum. This is point B, that is minimum point. So point B is minimum, as you observe. This is minimum because uh, when the first order derivative of dy over dx is equal to zero, but the second order derivative of this function, dx uh, less power of square over dx square is greater than zero. Or we sometimes call it positive, if it is positive. Or if it is positive, as you can observe. So maybe you can ask ourselves, what is the point of inflection? Maybe it could be an, a difficult issue to understand about the point of inflection. What about what is the point of inflection? So actually, the point of inflection. This is the point where the function changes concavity. The function is whereby the points, uh, the function changes concavity from being concave up, from being concave up. So actually, this is a maximum point. This is a concave up from this distance here up to this distance. This is a concave up. And from this point here up to this point here, this is a concave down. This is the concave down. So inflection points, these are points where the function changes concavity from being concave up to being a concave down or vice versa. So they can be found by considering when the second derivative changes to sign. And we need to understand what are the criteria for. What are the criteria for, for inflection? These are the criteria. The first criteria, we need to understand the criteria for inflection. The first criteria is that the derivative change, the first order derivative of u y dx must be greater or equal to zero. Must be greater or equal to zero. Second one is that the derivative change, second order derivative, that is u y raised power square over dx raised power square is equal to zero. But third one is that the third order derivative of the function, that is dy cubic that dx cubic is not equal to zero. So these are the two conditions that are implies for criteria for point for inflection. Now for that case, now let's try to look some examples. Now we are required to find the maximum. Find this example number one. Now find the maximum. Find the maximum or minimum value. Find the maximum or the minimum. The minimum of the function. Of the function y is equal to x raised power of 2, raised power of 2 minus 4x minus 10. I require to find the maximum or minimum of the function. Now, from this kind of equation, that is, we are, we are like the solution. Now from this, this kind of equation, y is equal to x raised power of 2 minus 4x minus 10. Now we consider, in order to can prove out the maximum minimum value, we equate out, uh, we first apply the first order derivative of this function. That will give us 2x minus 4. Minus 4, as you observe. So we, need, we understand the condition that at maximum, at maximum or minimum, at maximum or minimum, dy over dx is normal equal to zero. So when we equate out our 2x minus 4 and equate it is equal to zero and solve for the 
x it will be to x is equal to this will be zero this when it goes this one come across to the right hand side it will be plus four it will give up to x is equal to four divide by two divide by two x is equal to four now the function may be maximum or minimum now the function now here can be maximum can be maximum or minimum at x when is equal to zero when x is equal to two so the function may be maximum or minimum when x is equal to two so we can change out, we can apply now the second order derivative to prove out uh, for the maximum or minimum values of that equation. When we apply the first order derivative of the function, the second order derivative of the function that is d raised power of 2 over dx raised power of square, this will give out when we derivatize this function, the first order, when we derivatize this function here, it will give out is equal to 0. So second order derivative, it will be now is equal to 2 that is greater than 0. So since we apply the second derivative will be equals to 0 and 2 now will be equals to greater than 0. This means that it is positive. This means that 2, this, this means that it is positive. This implies that this is positive. Therefore we can conclude now. Therefore the function the function as a minimum, the function as a minimum at x is equal to 2. Since when 2 is greater than 0, when we apply the second order derivative of this function over here, when we derivatize 2 is equal to 0. Now, since 2 is greater than 0, since 2 is greater than 0, this means that the function as a minimum is, mi is minimum since our condition is that when it is minimum, means that it is greater. This means that it is greater than zero. So the function is minimum at x after it is equal to two, as you observe. Now let's look another example for more understanding. Example number two. Now find the maximum. Find the maximum or minimum of the function that is y is equal to 2x cubic minus 6x. Now we need to prove the maximum or minimum value of the equation. But remember the condition that at maximum or minimum. It is quite, it must be that dy over dx and the first order derivative, I mean the first order derivative is equal to zero. This means that at maximum or minimum, dy over dx is equal to zero. So actual, to prove the condition for maximum or minimum, after equate this is equal to zero, we, first, we take now our y, which is equal to x cubic minus 6x. First of all, after taking out y, which is equal to 2x cubic minus 6x, we apply the first order derivative from the function, that is dy over dx, that will be equal to 6x. That is, we take out 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2 minus 6. Now, after taking this, we equate it is equal to 0. When we prefer to this condition at maximum or minimum, dy dx is equal to 0. So this will be equal to now our dy over dx, which is this one. Equate at is equal to 0. This means that our 6, x to the power of 6 is equal to 0. We solve the values of x. This will be equal to, it will be 6x, x, x squared minus, it will be now, take out 6 to the right hand side, it will be plus, it will be 0 plus 6. This is regardless to be equal to 6x squared is equal to 6, divided by 6, both sides divided by 6. We obtain out x squared, which is equal to 1. So how can we, Kill out this square over here. This we apply red point on both sides. This and this will cancel. So x is equal to 1. So regardless, we will take out x is equal to 1 at this output when at maximum or minimum dx dx is equal to dy over dx is equal to 0. Now we can apply, we can prove out our condition now by checking out if it is maximum or minimum value. So what we do here. 
at x, which is equal to 1. Now, we may consider to take this function. Uh, we may consider to take out this function. We have solved actually in an easy manner to obtain the value of x, as you observe. But uh, what you need to understand here, so when you cross-check for the maximum of the function from the condition that uh, our dy over dx, when we check out for the maximum and minimum, what you need to understand here, actually we, we take out the derivative change of dy over the second order derivative of dy over dx square, take out is equal to, is, we take out from the equation that is less than zero to prove out what is known as the maximum. So when we take out the second order derivative of the function, that is 6x squared minus 6, then we equate it out, we equate out is equal to zero, and we plug in our value of x. We plug in our equation over, over there. So when we apply the second order derivative of the function, it will be equal to, we consider to take out uh, we consider to take out our value, which will be like, so this is like to say it will be equals to, so this is like to say it will be equals to, so this will be equals to, so our value, we take out our value, would give out our x square. We take out it will be we apply the first or second of the derivative of the function, it will be 12 x. It's like to say it will be 12 x. After taking the 12 x, now we equate up to the of zero and plug the function of one and we, so this will give out now the function of x that is equal to 12 x. This will give out now 12 then times 1, Pr plug in 1 inside, we plug in 1, that will give us 12. So as you observe out 12, this is a positive. So we conclude, we may conclude that the function, so we may conclude to our function here that the function is maximum. We may consider the function now since our 12 is greater than 0. Since our 12 will obtain is greater than 0, now we may consider this function to be as the function that is max, that is minimum. Minimum function. At 12, at x is equal to 1. At x is equal, is equal to 1. So that is how we solve this question. As you can observe, now let's go to another example for more understanding. Let's try another example. For example, the total revenue, the total revenue function of a fair. The total revenue function of a firm the total revenue function of a firm is given by r is equal to twenty one x minus x square and its total cost its total cost its total cost is given by R, which is equal to 21, x minus x to the power of 2. So, what we do here, we consider to consider the two values equation. And after this will give out, its total cost is given by 21, x minus x to is power of 2. So let me write it properly. The total cost function is, is given by this that is c which is equal to 1 over 3 x cubic minus 3 x squared minus 7 x plus 10. So 
whereby x is the output, where x is the output. So we are required to find a the output at which the total revenue is maximum. The output at which the total revenue the output at which the total revenue is maximum and the second at which be the the output At which the total cost, at which the total cost, at which the total cost is minimum. So a total revenue function of the frame is given by R is equal to point x minus x is equal to power two, and its total cost is given by C, which is equal to one over three x cubic minus three x square plus seven x plus ten, where x is the output. Now find the output at which the total revenue is maximum and b the total output at which the total cost is minimum. Now let's go to solution which was possible. So the first one we deal on finding the total revenue, the output at which the total revenue is maximum and the second one is to find that the output at the total cost is minimum. Now let's go to solution. Solution. From the given first function of total revenue function for them, that is r, which is equal to 21 minus x to the power of 2. First of all, we apply the first order derivative of the function, that is dr over dx. This will give us, this will give us, this is like to say our first order derivative will be equal to 21 minus, this will be equal to the first order derivative of the functions will give out the, here there is x very sorry like properly because this is point one x minus x squared so the first order derivative will be equal to point one minus y so from this point the first order derivative we may find out the second order derivative of the function so it will be dr is power two over dr squared that will give out negative two and this prove up it is negative. Now we are required to find the output at which the total revenue is maximum. Now remember the condition for maximum. Is actual the condition for maximum and minimum imply that dy the first order derivative is equal to zero. But they differ in condition. For the maximum, dy over dx is equal to zero, but as well as Second order derivative of the function that is dy over dx is what is known as uh, is uh, less than is, is actual uh, less than zero or sometimes called negative. This condition for maximum. So we have to find out the output that is the revenue is maximum. That is property. Now since we apply the second order derivative of the first on the first order derivative of the function will give out is equal to negative two. So as we take out our dr over dx is equal to zero. So when you plug we plug in the first order derivative of the function which is equal to zero, this will give out now twenty one minus two x. Repress dr over dx is equal to zero. So it will be equal to zero. Now solve for the x. When you solve for the x it will be now negative two x is equal to zero. This will go this way. This will be minus 21. Uh, actual our uh, figure we consider take up negative 2, divided by negative both sides. Now for dx by negative 21 over negative 22. This will give out a cost which is equal to 10.5. So this will be equal to 10 10.5. So when you take out uh, 21, negative 21 minus negative 2. This will give out uh, what is known as 10.5. So this will be the output, that is x, which is equal to 10.5. Now, for that case now, we may conclude now, since now our second order derivative is negative 2, negative 2 is actual. 
our negative two is actual less than is actual less than positive ten point five. Is actual less than negative ten point five. So actually we may consider the output x ten point five is at an optimum level. Now so we may conclude that now since our second order derivative of the function that is d r over d l x over d x square is negative is actually negative is negative that is negative two as you can observe and the revenue is maximum and the revenue is so we may consider that the total the revenue is maximum the revenue is maximum at output at a given output of x is equal to at a given output of x at output of x which is equal to 10.5 so that is actually how we solve so the condition proves as nega as maximum since the results obtained for differential is negative and the actual is negative, it is less than 10.5, as you can observe. So we actually consider this as a maximum condition. So the part A, we were required to, to tell us about the output at which the total revenue is maximum. So the output at which the total revenue is maximum is 10.5. Uh, so this proves out the maximum. Now let's go to the second part B. Let's go to part B. Now for part B, we were required to find out the output at which the total cost is minimum. The output at which the total cost is minimum. Now for that case, uh, we consider to take out, we can obtain our total cost function since we are given the total cost function is 1 over 3 x cubed minus 3 x raised power of 2 minus 7 x plus 10. So what you require to do here, let's apply first the first order derivative of this function. d c over d x will give out now here to be 3 times 1 over 3. This will give out x, x square minus the derivative of this 2 times 3 x is equal to 6 x. The derivative of 7x is equal to 7. This is a constant. Any constant derivative is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. So for that case, now we may apply also the second order derivative of this function. This will give out, uh, this will give out, uh, when you apply the second order derivative, which will be 2x minus 6. Now remember condition for minimum. Condition for minimum is that dy over dx is equal to 0. But second order de derivative of dy over dx is equal to, is, I mean, is, is actual, is actual uh, greater than 0 or positive. Now, the first step here, let's equate out dy over dx is equal to 0. dy over dx is equal to 0. So instead of put dx dx, the present is 0. So this will give out now x squared minus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, let you solve this quadratic. Let you solve quadratic way, or you may use your calculator. So, you may use your calculator and solve out. From your calculator, you may go to the uh, the place, to the uh, right button of mode. You click out mode in three times. Then you click, you go from the right hand side of the equation, you click it one. Then you press the right hand side of the copy replace on at the center of your calculator, bottom of your calculator. Then you choose out the two degree. Then you solve out for the equation. So you put you put a you put one one that is positive. This means here you press is one. Put equal sign on your calculator at the bottom right hand side. Then you enter b that is negative six. Click right bottom on your calculator. It will bring C, put negative 7 on your bottom right inside of the calculator. This will give you positive 7. So X1 it will give you positive, positive 7. And when you click again equals, it will give you X2. 
which is equal to negative 1. Now, here, we, we obtain now the value of x. We obtain now the value of x is equal to 7. Also, x2 is equal to negative 1. Now, because we are speaking about what is known as output, we may not take the negative sign, negative 1, since we are speaking about output. Output cannot be negative. So, we consider to take out 7. Now, we may consider to take out 7 to find out the maximum output that we consider to take out at that minimum cost. Now, since output cannot be negative, we substitute x7 into second order derivative to obtain the output. So, we try to consider to take out 6, 7 to the second order derivative of the function. That is, um, that will be equal to second order derivative of the function is equal to uh, 2x minus 6. So, you may take out 2x minus 6, you plug in 7 inside. It will be equal to 2 times 7 minus 6. That will give you 8. That is equal to output. This is where we prove out the output cannot be, we cannot take negative 1, take out 7, since we are speaking about the output level. Now, since we obtain here 7, x is equal to 7. Now, you can observe out 7 is greater. Uh, we, can observe, we can observe that uh, there's the values of x, as we consider the values of x is actual uh, greater than 0. So the values of x, which is 7, is greater than 0. Uh, is greater, we consider the values of x to be greater than what is demonstrated on the other side of the equation. So for that case, now we can prove out, we can consider that uh, actual the values of uh, the value the minimum output that will maximize the minimum output from the rev from the total cost function imply that this uh, the, the objective function is minimum. So the total cost we may consider we may conclude that the total cost is minimum is minimum when output when output is 7. So that is how we do. Now, thank you uh, for watching. Actual, I welcome you to DC Economics. Don't forget to go through other sessions and I welcome you. This is DC Economics. Bye-bye. So